Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures. If you've been with us for a while, you may have noticed in some of the videos that I talk about gallons per acre. And this for me ranges from two gallons to three to five. Those are the popular ones that I really find myself always doing. Why am I putting out different gallons per acre? A lot of it depends on the label because that will actually say on it for aerial application, what is the minimum amount that you can apply for this product. It changes from product to product. And also if it's maybe an insecticide or a fungicide and then the crop. So if it's maybe potatoes or sugar beets versus wheat, something like that. So there's a few things that'll come into play, but what it comes down to is that I'm physically changing the amount of gallons that I'm putting out of this airplane. Sometimes I'm putting out two gallons per acre and sometimes I'm putting out five gallons per acre. And how am I actually changing that? It all comes down to these nozzles right here. By the way, this is the second or third time that I've done this video. I'm having a hard time getting my point across though. So Callie's tried to help me and break it down because I'm rambling for like 10 minutes about all these different variables. So I'm trying to break it down a little bit here. It's not difficult, somehow I've made it into a difficult concept. These nozzles are considered a CP11TT. There's a lot of different manufacturers out there. There are different bodies, there are different nozzles. This is just what I'm running on this airplane. So the product comes out of the nozzle, goes straight back. They do have other nozzles out there that you can actually rotate the ends on to give them some deflection. So if you wanted, instead of coming straight out, you could actually, they would come straight out, but then it hits this little plastic piece that's say a 15 or 30 degree deflection and it makes your pattern go down. I've never run those. I've always had great luck with these, but there are different kinds out there. On the airplane, all I have to do in order to change how much I'm putting out is actually come down, get out of the airplane obviously, and rotate the nozzle itself. I can rotate the body. I have three different colors that you can see. And those three different colors are three different orifice sizes. Now there are three variables here. I need to maintain a certain pressure and the pump at the front of the airplane stays at a certain speed. And then I have these nozzles right here that I can set and then they stay at what I've set them to. So I want to maintain 40 PSI because that's where this airplane puts out the best pattern. So for two, three, five, 40 PSI works out wonderfully. Now, if I was putting out say five gallons per acre and I didn't get out of the airplane, I didn't adjust anything out here, it was putting out five gallons at 40 PSI. If all of a sudden in the airplane, if I adjusted my spray handle so that instead of putting out five, it would go really far down at five. If I only went down a little ways with it to put out say two, what would happen if I didn't change anything out here is my pressure would drop dramatically. At, at two from five, it may not even be enough pressure to physically get anything out of these nozzles, but if it did, it would probably be like 10 or 15 PSI. And that would make for a really poor pattern out of the airplane. So all the time, I wanna maintain about 40 PSI. That requires me to come out and turn the nozzles to the tip that I'm required. So if it's three gallons per acre, then I'm going to change it to the green tips all the way across. That puts me at 40 PSI, putting out three gallons per acre. One thing that I will mention is that the pump on the front of the airplane is ground adjustable, meaning on the ground, I can physically turn the blades on it to make that pump either spin faster or slower. However, I don't ever touch it. I use that if I'm maybe gonna change all my nozzles for whatever reason and put something different on there. I may have to adjust the pump so that it matches everything and it'll put out the correct pressure, but it's nothing that I'm going to regularly touch. Everything's set on the airplane, all I have to do is rotate nozzles. I wanted to mention it though, because you can adjust the pump and you could get it to spin faster or slower. It's just not a normal thing that you're doing day in and day out. However, rotating these nozzles, that's something that I could do every other load. And usually I'll ask Callie if I'm just sitting in the airplane and she's loading, maybe I'm feeling super lazy. Hey baby, can you turn everything to the blues down? And she goes through there and now I'm putting out five. I do that for a couple loads, maybe the next thing only requires two and she's gonna 
move everything so that the orange is down. Now, why am I doing this? Well, the airplane only holds 500 gallons. So if I have 100 acres to do, and it has to be put out at five gallons per acre, I can do it in one load. But let's say I had 250 acres to do, and I wanted to do it at two gallons per acre, I could do that in one load but I can't do 250 acres at five gallons per acre in one load because it doesn't hold one load in the airplane. Again, a lot of this is dictated by the label as well as what crop we're spraying. So in the end, I do have to get out of the airplane. I do have to rotate these nozzles. It doesn't take very long, but I can't physically do it in the cockpit, which is probably the majority of the questions that I have. I just maybe went a little bit deeper into this than I had to but I can't just do it in the cockpit. This is how it gets done. If you guys have any questions about this, feel free to ask, we're happy to answer them. Just leave them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson, fly low and fly fast.